In today's video, I wanted to share with you a simple defense you can use to shoot the run out of the nickel 335 odd. This will work against base. It'll work against inside zone. And so we're just gonna walk you through a bunch first and then we'll talk about trips tied in. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Cody. I hope you enjoy the video. And again, if you wanna get my full nickel 335 odd defensive guide, you can get access to all of 25 of my Madden strategy guides, offensive and defensive in our Patreon. That's only $10 to sign up for that. If you wanna sign up for that, there'll be a link in the description that you can click on and it gets you access to literally everything um, to help you become a better Madden player. So when we talk about shooting the run out of this formation, all we need to do is we're gonna grab this guy and we're gonna, I like to spread my line, spread my linebackers and crash my line to the right or crash my line down. And what we wanna do with our users, we just wanna kinda stand like right in here. And basically what'll happen is at the snap of the ball, we'll be able to just kinda run in from the backside and be able to shoot quick base. This also works for inside zone and it also works for counter, which I'm about to show you from trips tied in. So let's say that you're playing a really good runner out of trips tied in. From a shotgun perspective, I think trips tied in is the best shotgun running set. So again, you're just gonna spread your line, spread your linebackers. Now in this example, one of the things I like to do is move this guy down just like this um, and then click off and go over here, but you don't have to do that. But anyways, what you'll see here, again, spread line, spread linebackers, crash line down. That's pretty much it. And then you can contain. A lot of times in inside zone, um, you want to be a little bit more patient against trips. It's a little bit difficult, a little bit more difficult. But basically, you're just going to, again, stand about right here. I like to hold left trigger, kind of let them pass you, and then you're going to go down and shoot it from the backside. So I'll show it to you one more time. Um, this was That was base. Let me show you base. Let me show you base first. So again, you're kind of like right in here, if you will. There you go. Or I guess I'm inside zone. And you see that right there. So real simple shoot, honestly. Um, you know, nothing too complicated. And again, you know, you can kind of fiddle with like where to stand. I think standing a little bit more to the right against trips is a little bit better. See how I can kind of run down and shoot that. And then when you run down, you want to run straight down and then make a sharp cut after you've passed the guard. Um, otherwise, the guard will pick you up. So you want to run straight down come around and do that real simple and you see there we're able to blow up the inside zone and the quick base and then the counter run is a little different but basically in the counter run the same gap will open up and what you want to do in counter is you want to dive before the guard gets there so before the guard gets there you want to dive so you're coming in and you just want to dive right in there and a lot of times that'll blow that up um, he did get out on that one. A lot of times that'll blow that up. Real simple. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, also, another thing that you can do is you can just take this guy on and then just do something like that. But the way the physics are in this game, it's really hard to get off of that block. So it makes this a real simple defense. And again, it's the exact same shoot. That's what I like about it. It's the same. You know, and if you can kind of time your dive, you can get something like that right there. So real simple defense for the counter. And then the last thing that I want to show you is that this also transfers. So everything that I just taught you about shooting the run, it basically applies to any formation, but most importantly, like dollar um, DB fire or dime two, three, six DB fire, any of these plays, it applies pretty well to. So again, I'm going to split the difference, run straight down and then dive tackle from behind. So I just run straight down and then dive tackle into the guy. And you see there, it's really simple. Whoops. And then base, same basic principle. Come straight down and then around. And you see how that stopped. And then counter. We'll show you counter. Again, literally the same. Just stand right here. Um, let me see. Whoops. So just stand right here. And same thing. So real simple defense for inside zone or all the runs. And then I'll show you how that beats base. I'll show you how that beats base real quick. But this is the easiest way to stop the shotgun runs. Now, does it stop under center? That exact shoot is more of a shotgun shoot than an under center shoot. But let's say you're, you know, again, kind of standing right in here. They run base. You see it's not even, I mean, it's not even possible to run. So you really shut down the run from these runs. 
And then if they go to under center, I'll show you something really quick. So let's say they go to like a I form uh, stretch and you're in nickel three, three, five odd. A lot of times what you can do, you see how this is your strong side, dude. So what I like to do is actually take this guy and I'm going to stand right here and then I'm going to QB contain. And a lot of times what I can do at the snap of the ball is I can kind of shoot through the gap or if I don't make it, if I get blocked, you want to jam the right, uh, you want to click your right joystick in. And what that will do is it will basically create kind of an auto, auto shed. So you see how I'm kind of standing right here and then I'm just going to kind of come around and then try to push and if it's not there i'm just clicking the right joystick in so real simple um you know if you wanted to you could honestly like you could do something like this i mean it's, it's really not that hard to stop under center runs In my opinion it's way more difficult to stop shotgun runs this year but you could do something like that another little thing that you could do um I'm trying to remember like i said just something like this right here and since we don't necessarily need this guy we can move him like this. And this is basically 335 wide. It's a little different, but it's basically 335 wide. So now I've got kind of some edge help and then just kind of like push the run that way. And again, it's not as good against under center. Let me see if I have an inside zone or a blast. There we go. Another thing, if you wanted to try the same basic thing, just stand on the strong side guard tackle, this can't, this isn't terrible. You see how I can kind of shoot in right there? It's not terrible by any means for blast and then it's also it's also not terrible for stretch so like if i'm trying to guard stretch i have this contain here so you know i've got the ability to just click the joystick in another thing you can do again if they run stretch at you it's a little bit more difficult than if they don't but another thing you can do against stretch is you can go okay we'll just beat them to the corner just like that so those are some simple ways that you can kind of counter the run from 335 odd or from dollar formations like it and uh, kind of be able to stay in your favorite pass defense against a really good run defense thanks for watching the video and if you want to learn more about this defense um, the ebook will be linked down in the description below uh, by joining the patreon you get access to all of our ebooks and you also get access to our weekly pro tips as well which i'm going to be dropping a major major pro tip this week uh, with some really good pressure setups out of this formation thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time